Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another Robotics with Python tutorial video. In this video, we're actually going to start uh, programming our motors on our Raspberry Pi here in our car. So if you recall, we actually already do have a script uh, from before, which was stored in our robotics directory. So I'm going to CD into robotics. And that was robot1.py. So first, let's go ahead and just run that. And actually, first, let's view it just so we can see it one more time sudo nano uh, robot1.py to bring it up and this was the file just so y'all remember um, this is just setting up the the board the output pins and then this was just um, a quick test basically of our robots so let's exit that and now let's go ahead and do sudo python robot1.py and we run that and we can see that one side of our wheels do indeed do run because that's kind of how just how we programmed it. But now what we want to do is we want to start programming the other wheels. We want all the we want the wheels to work together to move forward, backwards. And even though we don't have a pivot, we can make just one side of wheels go to make us turn, kind of like we just did now, right? So this would make it turn if forward was to continue right. This would make it turn left a little bit, right? If this was the only side that turned. We can also make this side uh, roll that way, but then the other side rolled the other way, and that would make it actually pivot instead of turning. So there's definitely like a lot of things that we can do, and we just need to program that in. So first, let's go ahead and let's do some basic uh, forward and backwards. So to do that, I'm actually going to start a new script entirely, and then we'll continue building off of this one. So let's go ahead and do sudo nano, uh, and we want to let's call this robot2.py. <coughs> Hit enter, empty file. First things that we want to do is go ahead and import capital R, capital P, lowercase i, dot caps GPIO as lowercase GPIO for ourselves to make it easy. And then we'll also import time. Now what we want to do is every time uh, we run a command, we want to run an initialization um, for a couple of different reasons. Um, but this will only really be apparent down the road. Right now it might not make much sense to why we are doing this. Uh, but just kind of follow along and we'll get there. So first we want to have uh, a definition. Uh, this function is going to be called init for initiate. And in this function, if you're, uh, by the way, if you're programming through like using nano on your Pi, when you hit enter, it's not going to automatically indent like most of your um, IDEs are going to do. An indent typically on Python is one, two, three, four spaces. So just keep that in mind. So continuing on, we want to do GPIO dot set mode, and we want to set the mode uh, GPIO dot board. Once that's done, one, two, three, four. The next thing that we want to do is uh, we want to set up the pins just like we had before. So that's going to be seven, eleven, thirteen, and fifteen. So GPIO dot set up seven, and that's going to be a GPIO. Uh, it's got to be in caps out. Then we're going to go ahead and do GPIO setup 11, GPI, oops, GPIO out, GPIO setup 13, GPIO out, and finally, GPIO setup 15, GPIO dot out. And that's going to be our initialization function. That's all we want within it. Now what we want to have is some sort of function that makes everything go forward. So to do that, let's go ahead and define forward. And forward is first going to do initialization. So it sets everything as output and nothing else really. It just initializes for us. And now what we want to do is gpio.output and <clears throat> 13 will be true, 15 false, 7 false, and 11 true. And let's, I guess we can make this a little easier. Let's do 7 false gpio.output 11 true. Then 13 will also be true, true. output 13 true. And then GPIO to output 15 will be false. Okay, so that's it for forward. Now 
the other thing that we should do is in our function we should have one parameter and we'll call it tf which is short for time frame like how long do we want this function to actually uh, run for so then after we run this we're gonna do a time.sleep for the time frame and then after that we're gonna do a gpio.cleanup and that's gonna stop the pins from running and that's kind of why we want to interrupt. Uh oh, what has happened? Oh, okay, I guess we're scrolling up here. I tried to use my scroll. <laughs> it didn't work very well. Anyway, uh, that's why we have that initialization up here. Anyways, continuing along, um, that's it for forward. And that should be all we need. So now we can actually call forward, and then we'll save for one second. So let's go ahead and do Control X. Whoops, Control X, yes to save. And we'll take that same name. Now let's go ahead and do sudo python robot2.py, hit enter, and sure enough, all the wheels spun in a forward direction together in unison. And again, and now would be a really good time if you have some painter's tape or some scotch tape or something, um, well I guess not really scotch tape, but some painter's tape, draw a little arrow on the t paint, or the tape rather, and put that on the frame. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so now I have an arrow that that kind of indicates to me what direction is meant to be forward. That way we always know that we're doing it right. Now, the other thing I will just mention is I have kind of everything just kind of strewed there. I meant to bring this up uh, initially, but uh, you do want to kind of watch your cables and your stuff and like your cords because if they get caught in the wheel, it's going to spin up in the wheel and it's, you might rip something out or, it, you know, you definitely don't want to break. You know, the wires are cheap, but you wouldn't want to like break something off the soldering and stuff so anyways uh, be careful about that the other thing I do is keep like the battery pack out because if you can't get it to stop it's usually quicker just to reach over and unplug a battery and that will stop your motors uh, rather than going back into your code fixing the problem and then rerunning it just to get it to stop or running you know clean up or something so anyways um, just wanted to bring that up so forward worked how would we get it to go backwards so let's go ahead and go sudo nano robot2.py let's get back in there and now let's go all the way to the bottom. And now what we want to do is define, well, let's go past forward here. Let's just put it right here. So define, uh, and we're going to call this reverse time frame is our parameter. One, two, three, four in it, of course. And now what we want to do is we want to have GPIO dot output. And this time seven is going to reign true. And now GPIO output 11 is going to be false. And then GPIO.output 13. Do you think everything is a reverse completely of itself? False. And then finally GPIO.output 15, the moment of truth. Did we just flip everything? True, we sure did. Anyway, that's reverse. So now let's go ahead and run a reverse for one second. So now what's going to happen when we do this is it will go forward for a second and then flip the motors back and go in reverse. So let's say, or exit, save, yep, and then up arrow twice to run robot 2, hit enter. And it ran, but what did we forget to do? We forgot to clean up. So I'm going to pull out that battery, and this is a good reason why. That's why we did that. Anyway, sudo nano robot 2 pi, uh, come down here, and after the time, well, first of all, we didn't even have a time sleep. We were really bad here. Time dot sleep for the time frame, and then we want to run. Um, let me just get it up there. GPIO dot cleanup, just like the other script. So GPIO dot cleanup. So we want to run that. Yes, enter. And I'm just going to run it real quick without putting that battery back in. So hopefully everything will get cleaned up. And then we'll do it again one more time. Okay, let's try that again. Much better. So now we've got it forward and reverse. 
So now what else might we want to do? Well, we might want to program in a turn or we might want to program a pivot. So that's what we're going to do in the next uh, couple videos is we're going to program in the turn and the pivot. So that's what you have to look forward to. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time.